Hello everyone and welcome back to a Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. <laughs> I figured I'd throw in a Kerbal Space Program video in here somewhere since I've been playing Starfield pretty hard lately. And it's easier to edit and make a video. You, you play for an hour and you can make a 10 minute video within an hour. So it's like a three hours tops of the whole kit and caboodle. Way easier to make a Starfield video than it is a KSP video, but of course we all know this. But in today's video we will be building a well we already built but we have this is career mode by the way and um it's moderate ready? yeah this is yeah so it's, it's moderate it's moderate come here come come here come here come here, <laughs> come here mode it's moderate come here mode and basically uh we are putting the world's first satellite into space Uh, of course, this satellite is extremely low tech, and uh, because of this, we're going to be putting on a uh, so solid state booster. I almost said solid state drive, but you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, solid solid booster, solid solid fuel. Fucking hell, I can't remember. Anyway, so anyway, the booster is so that uh, when we don't need these satellites anymore. We can just go ahead and activate the booster and bring it back down to Kerbin, burn it up in the atmosphere, all that jazz and whatnot. Um, instead of having to send a mission up there to take them down uh, because of the fact that the we don't have the technology, like uh, we don't have RCS yet. No motor propellant whatsoever. If we had motor propellant, then it, there would be a smaller package, but we don't. So there you go. And uh, solid state, so I keep on saying solid state. Fucking frick. A, yeah. Yes, I am. Solid booster, solid fuel booster, um, is cheaper, and, well, there you go. So, the entire thing weighs a, a few tons, I forget how much exactly, but, uh, this is the first SSTO that can actually deliver cargo into orbit. Pretty cool, right? I, th I thought so. Anyway, it's got little, it's got little jet engines on the side, um, these, uh, these help for to glide for longer because it, it it can keep it in the air I, I will say it can keep it in the air can make it fly like a plane because after when it comes back only when it comes back down this these engines do not help it going back up they do not help it whatsoever going into orbit because of the fact that they are just well weak as fudge right when the craft is coming back down it's a it's a it's empty pretty much almost completely empty so the jet engines have a way better means of pushing it around and bringing it to a better landing spot. So it's a, it's a survival, survival, yeah. I also have landing gears that pop out in the back um, for landing purposes only, not takeoff, obviously. Uh, so they can help with that survival stuff because this is this is a very expensive spacecraft. Um, even though it's it's like you know tier one, maybe tier two, but we're gonna go for tier one because it, it doesn't use jet engines to get into space. It's all rockets. It's a purely rocket SSTO. But anyways, now that we have communications in orbit, which is nice, uh, we are going to go ahead and use our two-staged moon craft to complete some missions. Uh, the missions that I've been really taking up lately are the passenger missions because uh, the science missions and the testing out stuff is <sighs> kind of boring. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bullshit you. It's kind of boring.
but taking people somewhere or taking passengers places and or rescuing missions you know that that's that's more fun that's more fun i think that's more fun colonization going out there and putting people on places that's that's way more fun so these are the missions that i'm really gunning for most of the time when playing this so here we are we we uh, we have a very large powerful uh first stage spacecraft reusable space plane it uh, gets flown up there has a pilot and then the secondary uh, spacecraft gets let go and that completes the orbit the first stage lands and then the secondary spacecraft goes to the moon and we go to the moon where we're, we're tourists right so we're showing them all the places going to different spots pretty cool check it out Back to Kerbin for a nice, soft, gentle landing. So anyway, there you go. That's 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 pretty much it. Um, short, sweet video. It, you know, nice video. Everybody loves it or hate it. <laughs> but anyway, I am Veos. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.